Hello, love books. Hey, guys. Welcome back. I'm divinely destined, by the way. Welcome back to another video. Happy Tuesday. Happy Wednesday. Oh, happy day. If you happen to be new here, if you just happen to be new here, I want to say thanks for stopping by. Please like the video. Share the video. Leave me some comments under the comment section. Thanks for the love and the support of this particular channel. If you want to book me, I'm available. I see something about a private lounge or a VIP lounge, okay? Perhaps you're going to get invited to the VIP section or you're going to be invited to an exclusive situation. Let me know if that has resonated or if that resonates with you. That resonates with you. You could be a Scorpio or you could be going, because I'm hearing the death energy, okay? You could be going through a massive transformation at this time or you're always very transformative, okay? You could have heavy Scorpio energy in your chart. Take it how it resonates. You know, Scorpios, they can go to the highest of the highs and they can sink to the lows of the lows. And they don't feel no guilty. They don't make themselves feel guilty about how they fucking feel. That's just the way it is. They can go deeper than any other sign. So go see where Scorpio um, resides in your chart. This is going to be an all signs collective message read, okay? Take the reading how it resonates. Archangel Chamiel is working with us collective. There are some emotional traumas that we all have dealt with or are dealing with. And Archangel Chamiel is he's helping us at this time. And always call upon Archangel Chamiel. You could be a twin flame. He represents the twin flames. Yes, overall energies. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Mm, the Wheel of Fortune. You could be a Capricorn. You could have heavy Capricorn in your chart. Go see where Capricorn resides in your chart. <sighs> the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Try as they may to stop it, block it, delay it, hinder it. They can't. The Wheel of Fortune says it's going on. Destiny, the wheel is turning, okay? You're, you're, the wheel is turning. If the wheel was in the reverse, you would be going through some sort of karma. The wheel is in the upright. Things are moving forward, collective. Congratulations. Yep, no matter how they try to block it, we got the Seven of Wands. Anybody foolishly trying to stop someone in this type of energy... <sighs> They deserve all the karma they get, okay? Quick play period. The Five of Wands, okay, the Five of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Okay. Mm. You could feel sad. I picked up on Archangel Chamio. You could feel sad because of so many people or so much opposition trying to block you and stop you because of some sort of destiny or purpose or fortune that you have or abundance that you have. Point play period. You feel that energy. It's horrible. To be the victim of people's mistreatment because of your purpose, your divinity, your calling. It's sad, right? You're coming up as the empress. You feel that you feel the sadness of the negativity of others. It, it impacts you deeply. Okay, you're coming up as the empress. Mm. You could be a Virgo or a Taurus. Mm. The Ten of Cups. Someone desires you to be their wife or you will be. Okay, take the reading how it resonates. Or uh, at some point, you was a wife. You could be divorced. You could also be a male. You could be a male. You could be a male in your empress energy. I'm picking up on a single successful empress. She's her own ten of cups. Okay. Okay, God has sufficiently supplied her every need here on the earth. She's well taken care of. She's pampered. Okay. She's pampered. She's well taken care of on her own. You know, the Ten of Cups, it usually indicates a family, a marriage, but it doesn't always have to be. The Ten of Cups could also represent wish fulfillment. Yes, this Empress is doing the damn thing. Okay, she usually get what she wants one way or the other, or at some point, she it, it just usually happens for her. She's the Empress. It's meant to happen for her. She's the Empress. Okay, we got the Page of Swords. See, they watching you. You have people currently watching you, or you've had people watching you. They're watching your Will of Fortune. Okay? You could have people spying on your birth chart or uh, snooping on your positions in your chart, trying to use your chart against you. You could have, have you could have, or you could have had people snooping and spying into your acoustic records. You could, you could have, or you could have had people spiritually stalking you and trying to harm you. It's because of your destiny, your affinity, your purpose, your calling, and your will of fortune. Point blank. Period. It looks like you currently have people watching you, monitoring you. We got the four of cups. Oh, 
<laughs> you seem to be kind of bored with that shit. You know they watching. Okay, we're going to keep it moving. I'm picking up on Michael Jackson. I never channel Michael Jackson. My daughter, she loves Michael Jackson. And I always say, I like Janet Jackson. And all of a sudden, I just picked up on Michael Jackson. Okay, God rest his soul. That's the first time in three years I've ever, ever. I'm hearing Etta James. She wants to come through too. God rest her soul as well. Two powerful soul singers. Michael Jackson, you know, he's the king of pop. I've never channeled him in three years, okay? All of a sudden, I'm hearing Michael Jackson, okay? Mm. Yeah, they watch Michael, too. It was certain things Michael could not even say publicly. Yes, he did an interview with Oprah, and I was thinking about Oprah Winfrey before I started this reading. It's crazy how tapped in I am. But I was thinking about Oprah right before I started this reading, and now I channel Michael Jackson. Oprah Winfrey, she did, a, she did an interview with Michael Jackson years ago and they were at his house Michael must have said something all of a sudden all these alarms or something went off in his house and he was like oh I shouldn't say that he knew he was being monitored and watched okay yes but you could be bored with that shit you know they're watching you you know people are monitoring you you could be just overwhelmed or you just over it okay you know they're there you know they're there that's part of the purpose that's part of the plan you know you're gonna have these type of energies okay you could be a celebrity Okay, you could be an Aquarius. The star card represents the zodiac sign of Aquarius. You could be famous. You could meant to be. You could be meant. I'm picking up on Oprah Winfrey. Okay, she played in so many movies. Okay, she's a billionaire, Aquarius. Speaking of Aquarius, there she goes, Aquarius energy. You could be a celebrity. You could be a superstar. Or you know what? You may be meant to work for the public or there's just something, um, there's something star-like about you. It could just be the way you treat people. Take the reading how it resonates. They try to make you sad or they made you sad. When I say they, these are these are people that or situations that came up against you to cause deliberate pain to you. I feel like you're an earth angel. The star card, the justice, and the emperor. Empress, emperor energy here. <laughs> you're gonna get your justice. You could you could be thrust upon the world stage at some point in your life. A major celebrity, A-lister, may reach out, may want to work with you. I did a channeling. I did a channeling like three weeks ago, the beginning of Pisces season, in which I channeled Sharon Stone. Go research her. There's nothing. There's just research her. World-renowned, beautiful American actress. I channeled Sharon Stone. She's a very amazing, beautiful, seductive Pisces actress. And, you know... I channeled Sharon Stone for like 20 minutes straight and she was like, shh, shh, shh. She was telling me to be quiet, okay? So perhaps you have these type of abilities and gifts. Okay, there are certain things you're just going to have to be quiet about. I know you want to talk about your gifts, your abilities, but sometimes you just got to be quiet because you may have people that may want to hurt you. You know that already. But with the justice card showing up, it's like <laughs> you're going to be vindicated. Anybody that has hurt you or trying to hurt you, it's just they're going to pay. They're going to pay karma, okay? We got the Three of Coins, the Justice card, the Star card, and the Empress. That's your spiritual team showing up. They're working with you. They are assisting you. And they are making sure you're getting your Ten of Cups. Period. You know, your spiritual team represents, it consists of God. Okay, he's the head. The ancestors. The archangels. The ascended masters. The guardian angels. That is your spiritual team. Okay, that's your spiritual guides. If you had any questions about what's a spiritual team. What are spiritual guides, okay? That's your spiritual team. They are assisting you at this time, and they always will. They always have, okay? You may be at a conscious awareness point where now you consciously know that they are, okay? They are making sure that you get your Ten of Cups, your wish fulfillment. You're coming up as an empress, but I don't see, like, <laughs> love here. Now, you may be in a connection. You may be getting it, but I see you getting this stuff, you know, God rewarding you or giving these things without... You know how some people got to go get it from a man or a woman? No. Your spiritual team is helping you get all these things or they're making sure you get it. Point blank, period. You came here to get it. Okay? You came here to get it. Aaliyah wants to come through. Aaliyah. God rest her soul. I was listening to Aaliyah the other day. Okay, I love Aaliyah. Phenomenal singer. Okay, God rest her soul. You know, God called Aaliyah home at the age of 22. Very young. But she, but Aaliyah, okay, you know she died tragically in a plane crash. Aaliyah accomplished so much in short, in such a short amount of time. She did more in 22 years on the earth than most people do in 50 years. She was a singer, an actress, 
a model, a beautiful humanitarian. Okay, I'm picking up on Aaliyah's energy. I'm hearing that song, If Your Girl Only Knew. Go listen to that song by Aaliyah, If Your Girl Only Knew. Okay, I love Aaliyah. We got the King of Wands. <laughs> Aaliyah said, I don't want to kick it with you. Okay, she had, a, she had the sickest swag back in the 90s. Okay, just think how how amazing her swag was. She had the confidence. I've never seen no woman that young have that type of confidence. Her confidence was like next level. Okay, we got the King of Wands mm, and the Ace of Wands. The King of Wands and the Ace of Wands. You could have met someone recently, okay? You could be a male here watching this particular message. It looks like you have some new beginnings opening up here. Okay, take this reading how it resonates. The Ace of Wands represents new beginnings, okay? It also represents the male, the male, no, the male's private area, okay? Ooh, we got the Tower. The King of Wands, the Ace of Wands, and we got the Tower. There is a male here that needs to be extremely careful about his sexual health, point blank, period. Point blank, period. Females too, but there's a male in particular, okay? Mm-hmm. There could be a male that, um... You know, he's in his head about some things that he's, you know, he's done some things. We've all done some reckless things at some point, okay? He could be feeling some type of way about some risky behaviors or, you know, behaving and, and engaging in risky things that could have got him potentially sick or ill or, you know, the, the potential for that to happen is in his head, okay? Yep, we got the Five of Swords. Mm -hmm. And you got people that try to spread rumors too. Perhaps someone has started a smear campaign against the male take the reading how it resonates saying he gave her a disease or a, he contracted something you know how that go we got the three of swords yeah there's a male that feels some sort of defeat or brokenheartedness because of some sort of smear campaign against him to to spread rumors about him or to lie on him or perhaps expose him for what it truly is it could be the truth you never know but he's coming up as the three of swords all this could be avoided if he uses more discretion about who he sleeps with and make sure he uses protection or just be abstinent. Okay, that's always the best way. We got the Knight of Swords. <laughs> that's coming in fast. He could find out that he has an STD. There he goes. There's a male. I picked up on him. There he goes. He could find out he has an STD or, you know, he could just be in the energies of thinking, okay, if I don't stop or if I don't be more careful, that could happen. That could happen. Okay, you could be a Leo watching this reading. Okay, you could have Leo in your chart. Mm hmm. Hmm. He could also be a daddy. Somebody has accused this man of fathering their child. He's fighting the. He's fighting that shit. I want DNA. That's not my baby. Perhaps DNA came out. He's not the dad. Take the reading how it resonates. The Sun card represents a child. The Page of Cups represents a child. Okay, he could have some questions about at least two of his children. Two of his children. Okay. DNA. That energy is here. Remember, this could be a female too. Take the reading how it resonates. We got the Ace of Pentacles. This man, or you, if you are a female, you are a breadwinner. Point blank, period. You are the breadwinner. You bring home the bacon. You cook the bacon. We got the Page of Wands. Mm. Mm. I also see a male getting some DNA results back that prove that he is the father. That is here. You are the pappy. Oh, yeah. You the pappy. The Emperor, the Sun card, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. I think this makes this man extremely happy. I mean, what, what man wouldn't be? Especially if he has some doubts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Moving further into the message, okay? Male or female, I see the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Expect to hear some good news about your finances. This is going to make you extremely happy. Perhaps you get a promotion. Perhaps someone wants to apologize for doing some awful, atrocious thing to you. Or perhaps God is going to reward you for some atrocious things that you have went through. And he's going to reward you handsomely, financially, for your pain and heartbreak. Okay? Or whatever you went through that was difficult. You're going to be handsomely rewarded. Okay? Point blank, period. There's a financial breakthrough coming in. Love is here. The Ace of Cups. I just see a man, I see a male that is crying because he see the DNA test, he's happy. There's also some guys that are just simply not going to get the right results or the results that they they thought, okay, about DNA. 
<clears throat> take it how it resonates. You could be a Taurus. I also see the collective just being happy about, you know, crying tears of joy about these big blessings or these opportunities that our Heavenly Father is presenting or he will be presenting to us because, you know what, we passed certain tests. We went through certain levels. We are getting our rewards. We're getting our rewards, period. You could have a 13-year-old daughter. <clears throat> I see her here. We got the Hierophant. She's just coming right through me. Hello. <laughs> we got the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. You could have had an you could have been awarded an inheritance at the age of 13. Okay? Especially if you're a female. We got the Hierophant and the Queen of Pentacles. There's a female here. The Eight of Cups. Okay, take the reading how it resonates. Mm. Mm. I see a female that's not with her baby daddy. I see you, baby. I see you. Your baby daddy could be a Pisces. You walked away from him. You left him. We got the two of coins. That's the partnership. You walked away. You happier without him. He's coming up as the king of swords. He was mean as fuck. A lot of people probably thought he was cool. Oh, he cool. But behind closed doors, he was an asshole. He was a jerk. He was evil. He was mean, perhaps. You left your baby daddy. He was overly emotional and mean as fuck behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Crybaby. <laughs> how you? How he going to be the king of swords and the king of cups? Okay, in the public, and he's strong, and you know what I'm saying? Or you left your baby mama. In the public, she's strong as shit, but behind closed doors, she's just a bag of fucking wet tears. You didn't know what the fuck you was going to get. You left him, you left her. Mm, they were secretive. The hermit, they just went cold on you. They This motherfucker go hot and cold. I see why you left him. I see why. We got a three of cups. <laughs> They had somebody else, too. You probably caught them cheating. Okay, I don't want to tell all these people stuff. Let me move forward. <laughs> Sometimes when you do these readings, it be mind-blowing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't want to laugh, but I'm just saying. this Your baby daddy, your baby mama, whoever this person, this ex is, or what, whoever you walked away from, whoever this perfect person, okay, I'm hearing there's a perfect person for you. Or you thought they were a perfect person. Whoever this person represents for you, okay, they have some shit going on. The moon card, okay, the strength card, the king of cups. He may have had some secret shit going on behind the scenes. Maybe he picked the fight just to get out of the house to go see his other lover. That's the ace of swords truth. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You could be a Virgo here. Mm. The eight of coins and the knight of cups. You're a hard worker. You work hard for your money. I'm picking up on Diana Ross. You could be 40 years old, 42 years old. The Queen of Cups, the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups. You got a lot of water in your chart. Or you attract very emotionally vulnerable types of people, okay? Their emotions are up and down, hot and cold. You just attract these type of people. We got the Three of Wands. Perhaps they need healing and they gravitate towards you. You're strong. You're coming up as the Strength card. That's Leo energy. There's a strength and a regalness about you. Okay, these people gravitate towards you, especially with that Virgo energy. You know, Virgos are known to pick people that they need to fix up, but they they feel like their little project to fix them. Okay, you know, you can't save everybody, but don't tell Virgo that. Just like Aquarius. Aquarius do the same damn thing, okay? Perhaps you just, they gravitate towards you. These emotionally needy or weak people or these people that are emotionally damaged that need to be healed, okay? You just attract them. Perhaps you are in light and they are in darkness. They see the light. Okay. They see that light a mile away. Period. We got the seven of coins. <laughs> the seven of coins. Oh, mm. You hanged in there with your baby mama, your baby daddy. It's not like you just decided to just up and leave on the spare of the moment. Although it just took, you may, it may have felt like that when you finally left, but it was brewing. Okay. It was brewing. The drama behind the scenes was brewing. Okay, okay. I'm picking up on a beautiful actress. We see the four of wands. Like when I do my readings, I, I literally can visualize these things. I don't know how. Let me know if you can experience that or you understand that. We got the four of wands. I see someone that's, <laughs> you probably, <laughs> you could be divorced or you could be married or you could be living with someone. Whoever this person is, you walked away, you're walking away, you're thinking about leaving. God damn, you, you feel like they're the devil. The devil and the four of the four of wands that's like sleeping with the enemy you married an enemy or they later became an enemy or you didn't something going on i don't want to get too deep into it okay we got the chariot this motherfucker come home mad okay they want to start arguing it's ugh, they just come home with an attitude and shit like that 
you left this person. Congratulations. They were foolish. They were reckless. They were immature, childish. And, you know, quite frankly, this is not husband material, wife material. And let's face it, we have we have babies with people. That, this contract, these are karmic contracts. We got to bring these babies in the world, honey. Don't don't beat yourself up too bad about your baby daddy, about your baby mama, honey. Just learning lessons. We gotta we gotta bring our babies in, honey. Okay. <laughs> you just had to let that fool go, or you holding on to that fool, and they're emotionally damaging you. The more you stay, the more emotionally damaged you become. Remember that. You may not argue every day, okay? You may have good days with them. You may have some days where you think, okay, maybe this can work. <laughs> but those good days are far less than those terrible days that you experience with them, okay? They always say, if the bad outweighs the good, you're wasting your time. If you make a list of all the good things and all the bad things about your partner, if the bad things outweigh the good things, you're wasting your time. You're in a, you're in a pointless relationship. Well, let me take that back. You're in a relationship in which God wants you to learn. God wants you to learn something from that relationship, period. That's why you're there, or that's why you was there. We've all been there, <laughs> okay? We got the four of pentacles. Somebody could still be holding on to you. You've checked out. You've left them. They may need They may need to check into a mental institution to get some help for their obsession with you because they're still holding on to you on some level. It could be an extreme level in which they're trying to destroy you. This could be a male that is being systematically destroyed or trying to be destroyed by a female that he's left point blank period a female could also have been experiencing this as well we got the seven of cups <laughs> you could be an earth angel the seven of cups you went through hell in your relationship judgment you made that decision to walk away from this lover the queen of wands oh she was beautiful though she's very beautiful but very deadly very dangerous <laughs> The Nine of Swords, she kept you stressed out. The Seven of Swords, you feel some sort of defensive blocking mechanism or you had to implement one or you will keep staying with her ass. I don't give a damn how beautiful she is. She, you losing, son. Okay? You losing. If, if it's costing you your peace, you losing. We got the Page of Coins, period. The Five of Coins. Perhaps you're not financially able to leave. You know it's cheaper to keep them. I'm picking up on Scorpio energy. There it goes. Scorpio energy, the death card. I'm right on the money. Perhaps you feel like hell. It's just cheaper to stay. Okay. Yeah, but look how you're slowly dying every day. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you may have already left this person. Some people have, some people haven't. Period. The Ten of Coins. It's, you've established yourself with this person. Okay. You got house, cars, all that shit. Or you're being blocked from your app. Man, I did not want this type of reading but it wants to come out the two of swords and the ten of coins this girl this queen of wands is not nothing to play with okay you could have left her and she's trying to freeze your joint assets or she's just trying to deplete the bank accounts if i were you and you're a male here i would run to the nearest bank and get my shit out of there okay okay she gonna beat you to it she gonna be in that damn office at that bank okay anyway she doesn't want to lose access, access to this male's resources, period. This could already happen. He could be free from this situation, but it's like a fucking nightmare because this is the devil on his ass. And she wears heels, okay? <laughs> We've got the Two of Cups. The Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. Mm. Well, this could definitely be a female that a male took. He took you through this. This could be your baby daddy, too. Take it how it resonates. He's coming up as the Knight of Wands. <laughs> he uses sex as a way to express love, but it's really not love. It's just lust. All he knows how to use is his wand. But when it comes to emotional expression, all he emotional expression, all he does is shut the fuck down or cry or overreact. Okay, he doesn't know what love is. Or, you know, he plays with that shit. He plays the tango. Okay, he may he may know how to do the tango. He may play a dangerous game. You know, some people. You know, you I like those 90 movies. Okay, those 90 movies when those 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 excuse me, Michael. There are certain movies in that were made in the 90s in which these type of people were depicted. Okay, they played a dangerous game of love and people get killed, okay, get hurt. These are the type of connections that I'm reading right now. <laughs> Dangerous liaisons. Beautiful women and men that simply fall victim to these beautiful women. 
and they truly are victims, okay? Take the reading how it resonates. <laughs> I, see a, I see a single man here, a single woman. You're in your six of wands, victorious energy, but you have some energies opposing you, but you're no stranger to that. You're no stranger to that. Okay, we got the six of cups. Make sure you deal with the past so the past doesn't deal with you and interrupt your future. Heal, cry, scream, kick, do whatever you got to do, but release it and move on. You're in the energies, we're in the energies collective of new things happening, okay? We got to release the old. Close one door, another door will open, okay? I don't think your heart is big enough or has room enough to have so many people you love in it, okay? Let me know, excuse me, if that resonates. You know how they say you cannot love two people at the same time? I feel like we could love different people for different reasons. But to have the type of love that you offer, no way. Your heart is not even capable of, you know, you know what I'm saying. Let me know in the comments. It's not capable of you having all these type of... <sighs> Michael, you're distracting me. Okay, the type of, the type of love that you offer is not going to be for everybody and everyone. So it's not like you got 20 love situations going on at one time here okay N not you we got the king of pentacles you got a king of pentacles in your energy baby mm. big daddy i love the king of pentacles he could be a taurus this man is about his money he could be rich he could be wealthy he could work at the financial institute in which this baby mama will walk into and ask for the money out of that account i'm telling you <laughs> okay he represents someone that could assist you financially possibly at the bank maybe you know someone give you a loan that represents the king yeah someone giving you a loan that represents the king of coins he represents someone that has knowledge about finances he's that type of dude that's you know he got it but you you could you could approach him he cool as fuck okay he's that type of guy that's got the money he looks good he got the money but he's approachable you could talk to him you know what i'm saying he's not stuck up he's not like the king of swords the King of Swords could be cold, and sometimes you could be scared to walk up to the King of Cups because you don't know what he might say to your ass or do to you. But the King of Coins, you know, he's down to earth. He's a Taurus. Okay, he represents the zodiac sign of Taurus. Taurus men are known to be rich, stable. They about that bank, okay? He's going to put his wife in a huge house if he can. That's Taurus energy, Cancer energy, Aquarius energy, Scorpio energy, Virgo energy. These men will provide hugely and richly and reward their families handsomely. Sagittarius male energy as well. Yes, I pick it up on Offset. He's a Sagittarius. They work hard for their families. Okay, but I see a king of coins in your energy. Whew. He's a powerful manifester. He's making some sort of plans. Okay. Mhm. Mm he's talking to somebody on his phone. Okay. He texting. He could have just told somebody it was over, okay? It's, it's just not working out. That's what you need, a mature person who knows how to have the tough conversations. Yep, he just told him it was over. I'm right on the money. There's a world card. So you have somebody that will be coming in or that could be assisting you. They they have closed out something. Yeah, they got a divorce, okay? Mm-hmm, the high priestess. Or they got a breakup, but they going, they just going through something, okay? They could have just told their friend, hey, I'm not going to make it this weekend. I don't know. We got the Nine of Cups. <laughs> we got the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Mm. He got his eye on somebody. This could be you, okay? He already watching you. He got his eye on you. Take the reading how it resonates. But there's some drama here, okay? This could be past energy that is still lingering in its energy. This could also be financial, okay? something going on financially with this king of coins he's a king of coins and a magician so he knows how to manifest money he could just you know he could be very selective or, he, or he's learned how to be very selective about who he has around him because he has more than he has he has a lot to lose okay collective michael is cranky i'm not going to keep this one too long if you want to book me i'm available god bless